Have you ever taken a picture and wondered why the colours don't look very realistic? Hi, I'm Paul from Photogenius, and in this video I'm going to talk about white balance. I'm going to talk about what it is, how to adjust it, and how you can use it to nail your colours every time. White balance is all to do with changes in what is called the temperature of light. Now we don't need to overcomplicate this. Um, if we go outside, we are under natural daylight and natural daylight has a particular temperature. Artificial light indoors may be different. Now our eyes adjust to this, so it's not an issue for us, but cameras are very sensitive to this and it can be an issue. So we wanna make sure we get this one right. I'm filming this video with a Canon ATD sitting on a tripod and I've got the white balance set to natural daylight and that's because I've got a lot of natural daylight coming through these windows on my left. To fill in the shadows on the right, I've got an LED panel that is also adjusted to suit the same temperature of light as outside, natural daylight. So I'm getting a fairly balanced look. But in the background, there's a lamp on the desk. It's a little bit overexposed over here. And that lamp, as you can see, has a slightly warmer yellowy color to it. Well, we can fix this using white balance. So let's imagine that we are taking a picture in a room that is lit completely by artificial light. And that light is similar to the light in the background here over my shoulder. That is a very warm light and that will affect colors. Um, clothing, skin tone may look a little bit off color. Now in the old days when we used film cameras to get rid of a yellow color, you'd put a blue filter on the front. So this is a piece of glass, a light blue color, pop it on the front of the lens and the blue color would cool the yellow color down to give you the correct tones. Now with digital cameras, this is made much easier by changing white balance. So I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to do. We're gonna look at the Nikon first and then we're gonna look at a Canon camera. To change white balance on a Nikon camera is very easy. We look for the I button, press, select white balance, press OK, and you can change the white balance easily. A nice feature of the Nikon camera is the pictures which suggest when and where you may want to make changes. Press OK to lock in the change. You can also change the white balance when using the live view function. If I press LV here, we get a live view of what the camera is seeing. And if we press the I button as before, we can select white balance by pressing OK. Menu appears down the right hand side and notice as I make a change, the image in the background here on the screen changes. Now what's happening here is the change reflects the white balance option I've chosen. So this way you can use live view to preview how the colors will come out before you take the picture. To change the white balance on a Canon camera is very easy. Just look for the WB button, press this and select the appropriate setting. To lock in a setting, all you need to do is press the set button. Done. Now if I'm using live view on my Canon camera, I can change the white balance easily by pressing the Q button, selecting white balance from the menu, pressing set, and I can now change the white balance option. And as you see in the background, the colors changing to reflect the different white balance options. A great way of previewing the white balance before you actually take your photo. Now, if I'm completely honest with you, out of all of the white balance options that my camera offers me, automatic white balance is my choice. Here's why. It pretty much nails it every single time. If I take a picture and the colors don't look great, I can easily adjust the white balance. I just showed you how to do that. But most of the time, I don't think you'll need to. So AWB is my choice. Now, sometimes I might want different colors or I might want to change the colors for effect. So bonus tip, if you like taking photos of maybe sunsets or sunrises, try setting the white balance to cloudy. The cloudy setting will give you warmer colors and warmer tones. So you're, mo you're more likely to capture those nice orange colors that you get when you have a really amazing sunset. And bonus tip number two, if you're shooting raw images with your camera, 
then you can undo, edit and change the white balance later on because the white balance setting can be adjusted when you shoot RAW, but it can't if you shoot JPEG. Now, just because we can, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to edit the white balance in a RAW image using Lightroom. Okay, so I've opened up an image in Lightroom and this is an image of the Story Bridge here in Brisbane that was taken at a recent photography course that I ran. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the image, but clearly the colors don't look too great. So if we look over to the right here, we have um, our white balance options. Uh, this is showing as shot, which means it's showing the white balance as the image was shot at the time. And I can change the white balance very easily. If I want, I can go straight to the slider and I can adjust the temperature of light, which will affect the white balance to the left to cool the colors, to the right to warm the colors up. Or alternatively, I can grab the white balance dropper here on the right, bring this down to the image and click on a neutral part of the image. So a part of the image that is either a light gray or white. Now under the uh, bridge here, there's an area which I know is light colored. So I'm gonna click here and it applies the white balance straight away. Now, in my view, this looks a little bit blue and a bit cool, also a bit green to be honest. Um, so I'm gonna go up to the temperature slider just here and just dial to the right a little bit to adjust it and I'm pretty happy with that. So as you can see, adjusting white balance in Lightroom is incredibly easy and you can do it in just a couple of minutes. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've learned lots about white balance. If you did, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. New videos coming out every single week. And if you're a fan of Instagram, why not follow Photogenius on Instagram? I'll put a link down below. And finally, of course, as usual, comments, suggestions, you know where, down below. I'll see you next time. See ya.